New at 11, two of the women vying to be Kentucky's next lieutenant governor went head to head in their first televised debate. Education, health care, guns, and Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis's stand on same sex marriage licenses were all on the table tonight. WKYT political editor Bill Bryant moderated tonight's debate at Midway University. Good evening. Both major party candidates for lieutenant governor of the Commonwealth are women, and so it was only fitting that they debated the issues facing our state on the campus of Kentucky's only women's college. Military veteran Janine Hampton was in the Republican corner. For the Democrats, State Representative Sani Overly. For an hour, Vicki Dorch from WLKY in Louisville and I talked with them about the biggest issues facing Kentucky. Overly had some tough words for Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis, who is refusing to issue marriage licenses because of the Supreme Court's same sex marriage ruling. I know that on both sides of this issue, across our Commonwealth, that passions are running very high. They have, and they continue to be. But we are a nation of laws, and no one is above the law, and no one can ignore the order of a federal judge. But Hampton stood by Davis. This is an issue of religious freedom. And these questions need to be asked, first of all, is whether the Supreme Court, uh, one of three co-equal branches of government, is the final arbiter on anything, because if that was true, I would still be a slave. The real fireworks of the evening erupted when discussing sexual harassment, an issue in many workplaces, and even at the state capitol. Well, first of all, when uh, Jack Conway was asked a similar question, uh, last week, he made a joke and said something about his female dog, uh, which I found a little, just a little um, trifling. What I found reprehensible about that discussion last week was Matt Bevan's false attacks on me. And that's why even Kentucky Republicans call Matt Bevan a pathological liar. Now, next up, we'll be tackling the Kentucky governor's race, and they will be debating on the campus of Eastern Kentucky University on October 25th. In Midway, Bill Bryant, WKYT. Bill, thank you. Well, many of you have asked why independent candidate Drew Curtis's running mate was not at tonight's debate. League of Women Voter Policy requires candidates to have 10% support in nonpartisan opinion polls. In the last WKYT Herald Leader Bluegrass poll, Curtis had 8%.